Nazarene, uh -huh. Church of Nazarene. So in our denomination, we allow um, women pass, uh, women's, yeah, to be pastors. Right. And I usually never had a problem with this. Uh, but recently, uh, I started importing myself more and actually entering, um, actually exegeting more uh, versus, you know, like uh, 2 Timothy chapter mm -hmm. 2 verse yeah. 12, but you're not permitted a woman and, right. you know, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I have more of a complementarian type of view now. Um, okay. But I understand that, you know, in this issue, it's very uh, culture divided as to say that, you know, feminism and all mm -hmm. these other movements have mm -hmm. a lot of um, influence inside mm -hmm. of views mm -hmm. and, or inside of people's views inside of this. So I just wanted to see what was your standpoint on this. Yeah, I think, uh, and Christians can divide over this without and still have fellowship. This is not an essential issue. But I think mm -hmm. the, the biblical... Uh, position on this is that the senior pastor is supposed to be a man and th that women of course can serve in ministry but not in the senior pastor role okay now uh, men and women are essentially equal in the eyes of God but they have different functions the same thing is true uh, in the Trinity by the way the father and the son are essentially equal as God but they have different functions the father takes a certain role and the son takes a subordinate role to the father, not because his essence is subordinate, but because his role reports to the father. And Kathy Keller, who was married to Tim Keller, who, as you know, just died a few months ago, talks about the fact that women, if they say that they can't submit to the proper leadership of a man, are saying they can't follow their savior because their savior also filed, uh, also submitted to the proper leadership of the Father. Okay. So the Trinity is our model for how we ought to behave. Now, as I say, Christians, some Christians may disagree with this in their interpretation of the passage. If you really want to look into this in great depth, Mike Winger of the Bible Thinker um, has like a three-hour video on every single verse that had to do with women in ministry. So if you really want to get into it, you can go to Mike Winger's Bible Thinker YouTube channel. So... The egalitarians, or what I've heard of the argument, or what I've heard on this side, is that basically they would have uh, used, like, Ruth as an example. So uh -huh. she was a, a judge of, um, right. oh, we'll say. Well, there may be exceptions. Authority. Deborah yeah. was a judge. Yeah. Phoebe may have been uh, a control. deacon, right? There may have been exceptions, but the general rule is, is that the man would take the lead role. There may be an instance where that didn't occur. But we're looking at not examples from the scripture. We're trying to look at what the scripture says. Remember? Okay. Let me just jump right now. So, um, so far, from what he has said, it is true. Yes. Um, I myself, I'm one of those people that pretty, pretty much against the whole women's ordination thing um saying that now this is the this is what i think is started to happen the belief that whatever a man can do a woman can do it better nonsense i think most of this push for women into becoming senior pastors or ordained pastors or elders is from that feminism stuff popping up. Why? Um, because I don't see a place where the Bible says that the woman was supposed to be the leader in the church. Now, mind you, the Bible does speak about women being judges and prophetess and things like that. But in the sanctuary, now, not some of some people will say, well, Paul said in Jesus Christ, there is no women, no men, no Jews, no Greek. Yes, we are all equal. Yes. In a salvation standpoint, we are equal. But when it comes to leadership, Jesus, funny. Now, that's just my interpretation. So you don't have to, you don't have to believe what I'm just saying. But it's the thing. My only issue is this. There were women that went out to preach. I got no problem with women preaching. Sometimes, even in my, my old church, I would be like, 
mobile home movement preaching. But what I did have a problem with is putting a woman in the place where the man should have been, which is the first elder or the um, pastor, the senior pastor. That was my issue. It's not woman preaching. I got no issue with that at all. Uh, man, I was going to say something and I just forgot it now. So, yeah, the idea of women being involved in the church, I am all for it. Oh, yes, I was going to say something. I was talking to my mom one time and I, we were talking about that women ordination thing. And I told her that I would never agree with it. Now, people can do whatever they want to do, but I would never agree with it. And and as we were talking, I kind of gave her an example. Mom, I said, Mom, listen. If God takes a woman and sends her to some countries or some area, and there she started a Sabbath school, and then as it grew, it became a church. Let's say, who do you think should run this church? I told her, I think she should. Even though I am giving, I'm giving her the scenario and I'm telling her she started this, I'm saying to her, yes, she should be the one, be basically the leader of that church. But let's say, for example, I were to come along or some of my best friends were to come along and we get to that same church that she started. Who do you think now? After we've been there for like, I don't know, months or a year, and she can see that, okay, those men are men that know and want to serve God. I ask her again, who do you think should now be in charge? The woman or me or some of my friends? And that's the problem. See, a woman, I have no problem with a woman being the leader of the church. But when you have men that are capable of doing the job well and are willing to, but because of that inclusive propaganda that the church now has fallen into, say, well, um, if men can do it, women can do it better, nonsense. That's what I don't, I don't agree with. I don't. I don't. Because what it does is, it's not about now. Why did God put men as the leader? I don't know. Maybe it's because we are more logical. I don't, maybe. I don't know. But from the Bible standpoint, Bible never talked about if the bishop, if he's supposed to be a bishop, let she be the, it never, it always says let, let, it be, let the men, and it's not men as mankind, it means the men, and it says let him be a, the husband. That's why I was like, I couldn't be a first elder, not married. And now, some might say, hey, that's just, reach because Paul wasn't married and he was a, an apostle. I'm like, okay. But, just like you said, I totally agree that women should be in the ministry doing all they can to support the men that are in charge. And that's my take on it. Until then, guys, I will see you next time.